Today, uh, with the executive order I am about to sign, we will bring the change that so many scientists and researchers, doctors and innovators, patients and loved ones have hoped for and fought for these past eight years. We will lift the ban on federal funding for promising embryonic stem cell research. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Here is a man who thinks he is a dictator who is allowed to, with the stroke of a pen, become a god unto himself. He is trying to rule by fiat, which is by decree, not by a democratic process. He didn't ask you to vote on whether or not this is the change you asked for. He says you gave him the power to do whatever he darn pleases. And he says, you want to change? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take over the banking industry. You want to change by the executive decree and my signature today? We're going to have embryonic stem cell research. What will it be tomorrow? Uh, Professor Obama, what else is rattling around in that brain of yours? No one has ever said no to him. I have told you this before. He is perhaps the most dangerous fellow who has ever, ever sat in the White House. I say that because he has never had no said to him. From the time he was a child, the liberal white people, the guilty liberal white people, got on their hands and knees and praised him and have never, ever said a word to him that would make him doubt himself. Watch out for the man who does not doubt himself. Watch out for the man who has never been challenged. Watch out for a president who uses executive orders as though they are emails to a colleague. Watch out for the do-gooders. The do-gooders will nail you to a cross faster than you can say Roy Rogers. And they will do it in the name of progress. They will do it in the name of advancement. They will do it in the name of helping you. But you will be hanging from that cross and begging for mercy nevertheless. I am telling you that embryonic stem cell research is not a noble endeavor. I am also telling you that adult stem cells hold as much, if not more, promise. And the only reason this college professor acting as president, with a stroke of the pen today, said to you, we are going to have embryonic stem cell research again, is because he's paying back yet another constituency, which is the abortion racket. You see, with this new call for embryos to conduct research, there must be a call for more embryos. And the only way to get more human embryos is to perform more and more and more abortions. We need whole factories of fetuses aborted. We need entire busloads of fetuses for the mad scientists to play with. And so that's why I say be very careful indeed if you are celebrating today because you may not be celebrating tomorrow. President Obama, who now is in his fourth executive order uh, in promoting uh, the destruction of or the dehumanization of unborn children or embryos or fetuses, um, after a while you begin to see a pattern. That which is unborn, that which is newly created human life, uh, has very little value in the eyes of this president. And I think it is time to start talking about impeachment. Somebody's got to get this guy under control. He's out of control.